Looking back on the season of Bel Air, what would you say you value most about playing Will? Um, wow, that's a that, that's a great question. Starting mm-hmm. out, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think I would say that I really value um, the idea of him adapting to his surroundings, and but while also staying true to himself, um, because that is something that I have had to do in my personal life, and uh, it has definitely been. Um, you know, a learning experience and a learning curve and, and getting over that hump has been one that has been, uh, it has been, it's, it's been an experience that not a lot of people get to have. Um, and I'm grateful that this is my first gig and, uh, and, and similar to Will Smith um, in, in his career, this is his, that was his first gig as well. And so um, I'm grateful to have a mentor um, and to have a blueprint uh, uh, and to, be able to see his his, his uh, life and his career and and um, and have the option to mimic that in a way. You know? how, would, oh, sorry. how would you describe the season finale for this week? Epic. One word. Epic. 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 Yeah. <laughs> From the beginning, um, we see Will and Carlton haven't had the best relationship, but they're now, I feel like, at a good place, sort of. Um, what would you say you find most interesting and challenging about their relationship? Yeah, their relationship is so dynamic, but it's also uh, so, um, it, it's, it's so, it's so, uh, excuse me one second, <clears throat> get my thoughts together. <laughs> yeah, no, their relationship is so dynamic, but it's, it's also so, um, you know, it's, it's something that we can all relate to. And we've we've all we've all been through um, in a way, and so to be able to see uh, these two forces come together and learn how to coexist within a house um, is 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 super exciting. Uh, and so I'm 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 excited to see where their relationship grows in season two. For sure. Are there any characters on the show you wanted to interact more that you didn't get a chance to this season? Yeah. Well, you know, Will and Jazz, I, I'm super excited to see their relationship grow as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think, you know, we had to see Will lose a friend and, and sort of strip down who he was uh, and, or who he thought he was in order to gain, you know, these new folks in his life. And um, so it's going to be super exciting. <laughs> in a recent interview, uh, I know you talked about LeBron James um, was supposed to be an episode of Bel Air or was in mm-hmm. one of the scripts. Um, are you open to him yeah. being um, back for a cameo or just to play like a different character? No, no, no. I, no, we don't want him anymore. No. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, absolutely. No, that would be that would be amazing. I'd love, I'd love LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bel Air has had a social presence um, that has changed the way we think of, you know, reboots being made. What is it like to hear mm-hmm. people's responses to the show and how it's shaking up the way we vision how re- how reboots should be made? Yeah, uh, it's it's exciting. It's exciting. I think we're opening doors and um, opening new opportunities for uh, you know other other reimaginings and um, and you know uh, I, I'm grateful that it is being received with so much love from the community and from the world and um, you know we couldn't ask for 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 a better turnout. You know? <laughs> During the yeah. filming of Bel Air, was there a particular moment on set that you um, always remember? Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember <laughs> you know, uh, there was a moment that mirrored, um, you know, that iconic moment where Will is, is, is speaking about his father to Uncle Phil um, mm-hmm. in the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And that was the moment in the foyer in, in episode one, the pilot, uh, where, you know, Uncle Phil is telling Will that he'll give him every opportunity to create the world that he wants. And I remember there was, you know, I was having a tough time because that was one of my first emotional scenes mm. and, and um and you know adrian holmes and, and morgan cooper and the whole team they really gave me the space to be vulnerable and you know i remember he asked me a question uh oh you know uncle phil asked will a question he, he mm. asked you know do you care if you live or die mm. and i remember i took like i think three minutes before even answering mm. and you know the answer was yes and mm-hmm. you know i remember just a- deeply asking myself that question um and uh and so, you know, I, I definitely, um, I definitely remember that moment for sure. And I remember, you know, I, I was crying and it was so emotional. And then, you know, Adrian Holmes pulls me in and he goes, now that's acting. 
and like and so that mirrors that mirrors you know the the James Avery moment with Will and so that, <laughs> that was so special. <laughs> yeah. Going forward, what do you hope um, the show explores more in season two? Um, you know, I, I hope that it, it explores uh, the possibilities of who Will could be, the possibilities of who Carlton could be, the possibilities of who all these characters can be. I think we had to hit our mark in season one um, with who we think we these characters are, but now with season two, we can just like fly, you know? And so we can see a whole different side of these characters that we never knew were there. What's the biggest lesson you learned so far just having this experience? Uh, energy is everything. You know, we're all made up of energy. Everything is made up of energy. And, um, you know, leading this show has taught me, you know, that my heart has to be in the right place. My mind has to be in the right place, spirit. And so, uh, you know, mind, body, spirit, me and Morgan Cooper always talk about that. And, uh, and so having those all aligned and, and, you know, just to be right and to be grateful, move for gratefulness and to come to set every day, ready, prepared. And, um, you know, it starts with me. And then, you know, once I'm there, once I've showed up, uh, you know, it trickles down to everybody else. And so, you know, if, uh, if I have a great day, then everyone has a great day uh, in a way, in a way. <laughs> You know? <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I do love um, is your social media, just how supportive everyone in the cast are, cast is with each other. Um, how is that just mm -hmm. being on set and then transferring that on um, in real life? Yeah, yeah. Morgan always says something. He says, you know, if, if you want to tell the story of a family, then you actually have to build a family. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the, I think the big reason why we all got the parts that we did is like our hearts, you know, were in the right place. And, um, you know, it's, it's amazing to share the screen and to share this story with, you know, humble, um, you know, beautiful artists who are, you know, collaborators and, and free and mm -hmm. supportive and we show up for each other, you know, every day. And, uh, you know, it was tough for sure. Season one, you know, getting over COVID, and, you know, um, you know, there was a lot of setbacks for sure, but I think uh, we definitely showed up for each other. And, uh, you know, that, 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 that shows on screen for sure, you know. Besides Bel Air, are there any projects that you, you want fans to know about or it's something you're doing? Uh, yeah, you know, I have music coming out um, this year, so that's going to be exciting, and uh, I'm excited for that. You know? For music, um, would you ever collab with some of the, you know, your cast is very, very talented, so are you open to collaborating yeah. with them? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. If the time is right, hell yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah. your music, like, between, like, what do you feel your music brings to people, would bring to people? Yeah, I, I always say like I, I have been, I, I'm mixing an amalgamation of sounds together. Um, you know, I grew up uh, listening to a lot of the Beatles and, and Kanye West, and you know, so I feel like I'm I'm um, marrying you know R and B and hip hop in a way that hasn't been done before. <laughs> what is something you want to say to people that have supported you through this experience in season one of Bel Air? Yeah, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, um, thank you for. For giving us the chance and the given, for giving us the opportunity to bring this story to a new generation and for showing us love and uh you know i'm, I'm super excited for for what we're going to do season two and you know <laughs> i i don't think they're ready i don't think they're ready but i'm super excited that you all are on board and uh i'm grateful always grateful well thank you so much for this i really appreciate it thank you appreciate it. <laughs> have a great day